So why would anybody spend $300 on a blimp system for their microphone? Mine just showed up today. It's a perfect day because it's windy as hell outside. Let's see what the difference is. Wow, that is nice. Just for the shock mount alone because before I had this basically set on here, this is just my little audio recorder to run around and get sounds. But as soon as um, I pick up the microphone to move it to get, you know, to a different area to get better sounds, it's just all that handling noise. And the shock mount on here, I was probably more excited just for the shock mount than the blimp itself. Because I'm not outside all the time, but at least if I am now, I have the blimp for that. But with the shock mount, just not having that handling noise because not even just the recording when I had the headphones on and it's pretty loud in my ear because I'm trying to listen to the environment or something you move that a little bit and it's just like ah. so let me move this I'm gonna put this right in the wind and let's see what we get Now I kind of want to go to the beach and just record ocean sounds because that's always, every time I'm at the, the, the ocean, I'm just like, I try to record some of the audio and it's just the whole, the whole time. You don't hear anything. So, it's nice. Inside I got the shock mount, so, or if I'm just using it around when there's not a lot of wind. But now I don't really have to worry about it anymore. So I guess we'll listen to it now and see what the difference is, but I'm hoping this really knocks it out of the park for me and I don't ever have to worry about it again. $300 is not cheap, so especially when you're thinking about it's plastic and some foam and, you know, the dead cat, the fur covering. But the shock mount alone is kind of definitely worth it just to have that, you know, the handling noise. Um, even inside, if you have to put the microphone near air vents or something like that because you just don't have the space or the air conditioning is on, that was always a problem for me too. So I'm hoping that uh, this fixes some things and I'm just kind of done with audio. Now I've got the Zoom F6 and the uh, Rode NTG uh, 4 Plus. Um, and then with this, then hopefully my audio stuff is done and whatever I record, I don't have to worry about it in any situation. So that's without the dead cat. All right, now that's just for the basic microphone. Now, nobody would ever use a basic microphone outside anyway. You would at least have like a little cheap dead cat or something on there or foam or something. But I've used both of those, hence why I got this. And they don't really work that well, so. Sure, that sounds great. I do like how easy it is just to slap this on. But I almost want to just leave the blimp on all the time now and then just put the dead cat on when I need it. I guess it'll depend when I'm inside how much muffling of the audio it does. Now being that this is 300, they have some cheaper versions from other companies. And uh, I saw a couple reviews on them, but I'm not really into listening to YouTube influencers. So uh, if I go on Amazon and there's 5,000 great reviews and there's just one review that says something sucks, I'm just sitting here going, why is that, besides that person being a troll, why do they think it sucks? So it's $100 more if you get the road one compared to the third party stuff, but I don't know. I mean, my microphone's Rode. I already spent the money on the microphone. Why not just spend the money on the microphone protection? Even though it's a little bit more expensive. I'd rather one and done than buy cheap stuff and buy cheap stuff and buy cheap stuff over and over again till I'm wishing I would have just spent the money on the, the good stuff originally.
Check, testing, testing. In the wind machine. Check, check, check. Coming live from the hurricane. Check, testing, testing. In the wind machine. Check, check, check. Coming live from the hurricane. Check, testing, testing, testing. Check, 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 testing. What I should be doing is recording my neighbor using the chainsaw the entire day and then wait till tonight about two o'clock in the morning and then play it back for him on really loud speakers. That's what I should do. All right. Kind of worried about the camera and the microphone now, but. <laughs> How's that for a wind test? All I want to hear is wind sounds in my voice. We'll have to go back and listen to it, but I think uh, that should be a hell of a test. 